I've now, um, I now will ask uh, each of the uh, two members um, to please give their final um, remarks. They have uh, two minutes to do so. At this time, I'd like to first invite uh, Congresswoman Verdaya to come up and then uh, go with much. Thank you, Dr. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, you heard about what we will do as Guam's representative in Congress. I have been very humbled by the trust and confidence our people have placed in me to represent our island in Congress for 14 years now. And I work hard to ensure that we are providing better opportunities for our people and that the federal government is held accountable for their responsibilities to Guam. Over the 14 years, I've made progress on all issues. I have built and fostered strong relationships with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle. And my seniority and leadership position have gotten some really good results for Guam. I do not believe that we can afford to lose these relationships or give up my seniority, especially at this critical time for our island and our people. We have made so much progress and I will continue to work to strengthen our economy by promoting opportunities that create jobs and strengthen our communities altogether. I work every day to build on the progress we have made for a better Guam. And I work personally with many of you here today, and you know that I don't promise what I will owe, that I can't succeed in. No one can promise that. But I do promise I will work as hard as I can for you and our people. And I, again, I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you this afternoon, and I look forward to continue serving as your representative in Congress. So I'm asking you to please re-elect me in this next election. Thank you, and see you soon. Thank you very much. Governor? I'd like to thank Congresswoman Bredalio, members of the Rotary Club, Club of Guam, for this opportunity to be here with you this afternoon. You all uh, know that uh, there's a tremendous choice for all of us to make on Election Day, a choice that I believe will frame Guam's discussion on Capitol Hill for years to come. When the seat was first held by the late Antonio Wampat, and subsequently by the late Ben Blas, Robert Underwood, and our incumbent, Madeline Berdalio. We've been witness to change. Over 43 years this has happened. Change is a constant in life. Change, it, it, it happens every single day. This is a season of change. Now I believe we have never had or been, been given an opportunity where you have, such as my, uh, an individual like myself, a two-time governor, offering myself also as potential replacement for our incumbent, who I deeply respect and have worked with for many years. But we're heading into extremely difficult, fragile times, not only in this Asia Pacific region, but for the United States of America. America is spinning out of control. And the principles upon which it used to stand are no longer there. What is happening in our, in our country is affecting our island, and it's affecting what's going to happen in the future. We are targets for enemies not far from our, our coastline. We need someone who's going, to, who, who's going to bring the energy, who has the experience and knows what, what our people of Guam need and want. I have been your governor for two, two terms, and I know what the needs of our people are. I will bring my skill sets, I will bring my abilities, I will bring my will, I will bring my determination and my volition to represent our people well, and I will continue. I want to carry the torch, recognizing all the good work that they've done, my predecessors have done. But we need to take a change. Status quo is no longer acceptable. We need change, and we need change now. Thank you. Can you please give uh, these two individuals a, 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 a